Come on back here, Todd. This is where the process starts. These bags here are full of the raw material that we use to mold this stuff. And what is this? Expanded polystyrene parts. That's what's inside here? Exactly. Those are giant. There's uh, probably 1,000 to 1,500 pounds in each bag. This stuff is really light. If you could hold air, that's how it would feel. Yeah, it, it's very light product. We store it in these bags until it's uh, going to be molded. It's conveyed through all these tubes you see back here. And then what, they're fed into the back of the machine? Yeah, the uh, machines actually suck the beads out of the bags as they need them. What's happening with the steam? Look at all that. During the steaming process, the individual beads that are in the cavity kind of melt and fuse together. Once the beads are stable enough, the machine will open up and the ejectors come out and they'll push the parts out of the cavities, which you'll see right now. Like, Wow, okay, and you have 11 of these things going pretty much all the time? Yeah, absolutely. That particular item you see there is a wine pack shipper for two bottles of wine. We sell a lot up in the Napa Valley area. This is an edge protector part, and it protects a box. We do a lot of this type of stuff for television sets. Okay. Uh, if one of these parts comes out defective, what happens to them? Uh, the rejected parts are gathered in a plastic bag we label reject. What's going to happen with all these reject parts here? Well, some of it we'll use back in our own process, and what we can't use we'll send to Timbron. And Timbron is the recycler? Yes, that's correct. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, thank you for your tour. Oh, it was I nice learned to have you. a lot.